What's up, sons? It's Blind Rod with Seven Tech once again, and welcome to yet another Talking Head video. Today, we need to talk about something super, super serial, and that is everything going to the moon. Before we get into it, here's a word from our sponsor. Today's sponsor is BlockFi. BlockFi provides financial products for crypto investors. Products include high yield interest accounts, USD loans, and no fee trading. With BlockFi, there are no hidden fees, just a return of up to 8.6% APY that starts accruing immediately, plus compounding interest every month. Committed to trust and transparency, BlockFi services comply with comprehensive state and federal regulations, and they use Winklevoss's Gemini as their primary custodian, wrapping layers of industry-leading protection around clients' assets. To facilitate this transparency, BlockFi allows me to mention that they are centralized and there is a potential for loss. So as with any investment, do your own research. Personally, I have funded over 4,000 USD equivalent in Bitcoin to my BlockFi account and accrued additional interest on top of my mining rewards. For a limited time, you can earn crypto bonus of up to $250 when you open a new account by visiting the link in the description, blockfi.com slash son of a tech. Welcome back. So we are struggling here on this little old YouTube channel because it's growing so fast. YouTube has basically said a majority of you guys are invalid viewers and have stripped over half of my adsense revenue so if you guys could give me a little bit of a hand and check out the join button down below and as well as i don't know if it has to do with vpns or if we are getting botted obviously we have a huge issue with a ton of impersonation accounts which i had already made youtube aware of we have filled out the forms that they have requested to um, resolve any sort of invalid activity. They said it's invalid ad clicking activity. So anyways, if you guys could do that for me, let me know. That'd be awesome. The join button, I still get all the revenue from memberships as well as tips. And we are on library now as well, but for fear of getting in trouble for linking that, we're not going to link it. I think that would not be wise. So check me out on Twitter at son of a tech. All right, so the reason we're having this conversation today is because we are in a bull run. What does a bull run mean? That means everything in crypto is going up pretty much. Why is it all going up? Well, because the price of Bitcoin is going up. Why is the price of Bitcoin going up? Well, some due to large financial institutions investing into Bitcoin and a little bit to do with the U.S. economy and the amount of money that's being printed. Brrr. The problem is, of course, what this ends up translating into is a whole bunch of smart people that told you so, making YouTube content and, well, that's a problem. So I wanted to explain to you guys how this whole market ends up shaking out. Back in the day, we had a couple guys, one known as Trayvon James, that was pushing things like BitConnect, which is essentially a pyramid scam. And these days we don't have necessarily anything that bad, but what we do have are traders that are basically telling you that everything is going to the moon. And they're not actually incorrect necessarily. Everything is going up and pumping and going to the moon. But it doesn't mean that they knew this back in September, August, and so on. It's not like you can actually predict these markets that well. Now, I have talked about the having a Bitcoin being a hint at when the price of cryptocurrencies will go up. And that has remained to be true over the past four cycles. So that is something you can look at. But that doesn't mean that aid is going to go to the moon or ETH is going to go to the moon or so on. Now, why do they all go up? That's the other problem here. When you take a look at like any sort of alt coin in general, its price is in direct correlation to Bitcoin because most of the exchanges are based on Bitcoin. Most of the pairings are between altcoins and Bitcoin. We've talked about this before and some of this is changing with stable coins where we are having pairings with altcoins and stable coins like Tether. Now that has made this cycle a little bit better than previous cycles to weed out the altcoins that are well you know 
but it doesn't necessarily weed it all out because a lot of them still have the Bitcoin pairing. So just because a coin is going up doesn't mean that it is worth anything. A great example is something like Doge where the development has been completely canceled and it pretty much doesn't go anywhere outside of what it's already doing. It doesn't have any crazy projects going on, so on and so forth. <laughs> so I want you guys to think about that before you go in and buying something like Dogecoin. Now Dogecoin is a little bit of a poor example because we do know that a lot of the Dogecoin pump is coming from public perception. There are the people that are pumping it on YouTube saying it's going to go to the moon. And they aren't necessarily wrong because, well, it's going to go to the moon along with Bitcoin, right? Now, we have talked about Ethereum not staying and scaling with, of course, Bitcoin this time around. And that's because Ethereum does have a lot of stablecoin pairings along with, obviously, all of the FUD going around due to EIP-1559. That's what it was. Got it, got it. <laughs> so whenever you go to watch a trading YouTube channel, I want you to think about one thing though. And I've been telling people in my chat this for a while. By nature of being a crypto YouTuber, any cryptocurrency I talk about will go up in value. So a cryptocurrency YouTuber, let's take anybody in this, doesn't mean they're bad people, but you could take BitBoy, you could take Ivan on Tech, you could take Altcoin Daily. The channels that aren't necessarily reviewing the technical analysis of the coin and focusing purely on the price and the charts, just like the stock market traders, when they have a large following, just then by nature of them mentioning a coin going up in price, the coin will go up in price. So on the morning when Ivan on tech does his stream at 6 a.m. and he gives you five top altcoins and you buy them and they go up, well, they went up also because you bought them along with everybody else that watched the video about the top five altcoins that are gonna go to the moon today or this week. So you need to keep in mind that just by the nature of somebody having influence mentioning a coin and saying that it's going to go up, the coin will go up. In a bull run, this pretty much is always the case across the board. This is why a lot of the cryptocurrency trading channels kind of went, including mine, right after the bubble. And I'm a cryptocurrency mining channel, but even mine went down. And that's because once it goes into a crash, they can't do much more than just say that well, now it's crashing, right? There's not, there's nothing exciting. You can't sell anything. And then when we go into a bull run, all these channels take off again. And that's because they appear to be right just by nature of telling their audience which cryptocurrencies to buy. And those cryptocurrencies go up because their audience buys the cryptocurrency, not necessarily because the cryptocurrency has a value of whatever that is so i wanted to make that clear because i know that there's a lot of craziness going on in the crypto market and when you're looking at everything everything's going to be going up do your own research read the white papers check out the roadmaps and make sure that they're actually hitting their deadlines and we've talked about all this before if you guys want me to do a full overview, let me know in the comment section below, but check out their development page. Make sure their Twitters aren't banned, which you, you pool, I'm looking at you, by the way. <laughs> and make sure that their discords aren't banned, that sort of thing. Make sure everything's active. You can usually get into their telegrams, into their discord, so on. And you can tell if they are still active or not. You want to make sure that that's happening at the very least. And then if you think that the project is a good idea, like AI on the blockchain for Cortex or a proof of work version of ETH 2.0, like Conflux, these are ideas that may have some merit, may not, right? But as long as they're working towards them, then you're in a safer spot than if they're not doing anything with it, right? So keep that in mind. So that's going to wrap up my everything to the moon video so that you guys can be cautious and smart out there when you're purchasing. Don't get too excited. 
you can pretty much make money in the increase in value of almost any cryptocurrency at this time because it is in a bull run now obviously today bitcoin went down that's just natural we always see kind of these pullbacks and then it goes back up and it's still technically in a bull run over the long term so don't freak out yet but if you start seeing it tick down 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 further over a few days then you want to start you know being a, even extra cautious always 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 sell some profits on the way up and sell some profits on the way down if you're mining make sure you're covering your expenses i'll see you next tuesday if you enjoyed this content, you can check out more crypto content on this playlist up here. Or, of course, go ahead and subscribe for more in the future. Adios.